What's going on everyone? It's Austin from Elevate Applicate here to bring you some pesticide applicator content and chemical content and application method content and everything that involves being a commercial pesticide applicator out there. Today, what we're gonna do is talk about insect growth regulators and why you might wanna use them. If you're not using them, why you might wanna introduce them into your regiment. Uh, they really are uh, really good products to introduce. They help reduce resistance. They provide a longer residual control. They mess with the breeding habits. They mess with the uh, mouth feeding habits. Um, you know, lots of different things that they can do, okay? And two products that I use in my company or have used in the past. One is this product right here. This is Teco Pro. This is a very common insect growth regulator that's used out on the market. Its active ingredients are um, Piproxyphen and Novaluron. And basically this has two products and they're kind of like two different modes of actions that occur. Um, but I went from using this product, which this product was I think an ounce and a half a gallon that you'd have to mix it, to this product. It's an empty bottle. Pivot 10. Okay. This product a lot smaller bottle. More expensive, but it's a higher concentration of the piproxyphen. So if we look at these two, the Teco Pro, it's got a 1.3% of piproxyphen in it. And if we look at the Pivot 10, it has a 10% piproxyphen. So definitely more concentrated. The main reason why I differentiated between these two is this one, because it's a little bit more concentrated, it's a little bit more of an oil base, it actually lasts longer and has UV resistance properties to it. Um, this is fantastic if you're doing mosquito control and you treat mulch beds, treating ants, spiders, ticks, I mean you name it, there's a huge list of insects that this controls. Um, but again, the main reason that I switched is because this lasts longer, it's more concentrated, you don't need as much when you're mixing. You know, the rate, as far as this goes, can vary from four milliliters a gallon all the way up to 12 milliliters a gallon. And like I said with this, this is an ounce and a half that you gotta mix, so it's a substantial amount more. It's a lot more liquid to mix, and it's a less concentration. So between these two, if I'm gonna go with something, I want to go with the more concentrated product. Generally speaking, you're going to get a better result with a higher concentrate product. So yeah, Pivot 10, Teco Pro, they both work. I've used them both. I just prefer Pivot 10. So let me ditch the glove. So why would you want to use an insect growth regulator in your insect management company, your pest control company, your mosquito control company? The main reason is because it's gonna give you a different mode of action when you're controlling these pests, okay? You're gonna have your main insecticide and then you're gonna have an insect growth regulator that is going to manipulate the future generations. So you have an instant kill and then you have a product that's going to manipulate how they breed, how they fly, how they produce mouth parts, how they feed. You're gonna change things up. And it's always good when you're dealing with insects to have different modes of action and to change up products whenever you can. Because if you use the same product over and over and over again, what ends up occurring is a insecticide resistance. That's generally gonna happen with insects that have multiple generations a year. Mosquitoes, mites, those are big ones that I can think of. If you have an insect that has one generation a year, you're not really likely to have an uh, insecticide resistance occur. But, being that I own a mosquito control company, we have to constantly be thinking about uh, insect resi insecticide resistance management. And so that's why we use insect growth regulators, we use larvicides, and we use adulticides. And I've actually gone to properties where there's been uh, an insecticide resistance building. We've had to switch to different products that are not as favorable to be used by a pesticide applicator, nor the environment but that's so we could control the population that was there. And then we could go back to synthetic pyrethroids because we got rid of the resistance. So just wanna make that quick video on uh, insect growth regulators, why you might wanna use them, why not? You know, they're, uh, they're fantastic products. We use them all the time in our regiment 
and I highly recommend that you start to look into them. So I hope that helps you. Other than that, take care. God bless. Go get them.